Today's story is Lorikeet Mansion. Maya and Stanley rush to the edge of her backyard, where the grass disappears into the surrounding bush. Hey, Stanley, whispers Maya. Where are we going? Shh, hushes Stanley. You'll find out soon. Laurie the rainbow lorikeet rests on a branch, tapping his tiny foot. Guess who's late again, he grumbles, crossing his brightly coloured wings. Thanks for waiting for me, grins Stanley, taking a spot under the tree. All right, everyone, begins Laurie. It's time for me to move out of my old tree. I want to move closer to all of you, but I need some help building my dream home. Does anyone have any ideas? Well, your dream home could look like mine, yawns Moonshine the possum, rubbing her eyes. I love living in the bush, in a woody forest filled with trees. There are so many hollow logs and tree trunks for me and my family to sleep in. And it's so easy to find lots of leaves, flower blossoms and fruits to eat. Doesn't it sound perfect? Laurie nods, chirping. Yes, I like that idea. I always sleep like a baby when I find a comfy tree hollow. And you know how much nectar I eat every day. The flowers are just so yummy. But Moonshine, I've noticed that you wander around these houses from time to time, Stanley mentions. That's true. Sometimes I come here looking for food. Where I live, there isn't always enough to eat. They're cutting down some of the trees near my home. Moonshine sighs. After a while, Laurie tweets, Does anyone else have some good ideas? Hmm, thinks Maya. I've always wanted to live in a big house, a mansion, with a big pool and lots of pretty plants and my own water slide, and I'd invite you all over for parties. Stanley imagines whizzing down the water slide. Now that sounds like a great idea. What's a mansion, Maya? Laurie asks. Do you think you could build one for me? Maya giggles. I'm not sure about building a mansion, but I could build you a few fancy nest boxes. How does that sound? Laurie hops onto Maya's shoulder. It sounds like a plan, he trills. I could never live inside, hisses Piper, the green tree python. My dream home would be simple. All I need is some long grass and lots of branches to curl around. I don't need a roof over my head. The bush is the perfect place for me. Out here, I can find lots of yummy lizards and frogs to eat. As long as she doesn't eat me, Stanley whispers to Maya. I can hear you, Stanley, sings Piper with a chuckle. As the others chatter, Maya wonders how she could help Laurie move into his new home. It seems like his dream home needs a few important things. First, he needs shelter, somewhere to sleep and stay warm. Then, he needs food to eat and water to drink or bathe in. Maya glances around her backyard, searching for the right spot. Where could she put his nest boxes? Finally, her gaze lands on a cluster of blooming bottle brush trees. Hey, Laurie, she says, tapping his wing. How do you feel about moving into that group of bottle brush trees? Would that be enough food for you? Laurie's eyes widen and his beak drops open. Sweet nectar! It looks like enough food for a lifetime. And once Maya builds the nest boxes, he'll have shelter. I like the sound of that, he chirps, hopping around with joy. But then he stops. There's just one thing missing. Where will I take my baths? I can't see any water around here. Maya scratches her head, but then she remembers. I think I can take care of that. 
We have a bird bath sitting in the garage. Wow, you're going to take out the bird bath? Calls Stanley. Do you think you could add a water slide too? In today's lesson, we learned that animals live in different places to suit their needs. They choose places with the right food, water and shelter. We can build a home that suits an animal's needs, just like Mayer is doing for Laurie. Have a look around your backyard. Could you build a bird bath or a few nest boxes to welcome some special visitors? We hope you enjoyed this Schooling Online production. Check out the other stories in our Stage 1 Science for Kids series to improve your child's understanding of the living world.